On average, American adults consume nearly 77 grams of sugar every day. And there's another estimate that puts us at consuming over 125 pounds of sugar per year. Now, have you ever wondered though, what would happen if I stopped eating sugar for just two weeks? Well, you're about to find out. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and when you stop eating sugar, your body starts transforming immediately. There's no other choice in the matter. So let's talk about some of the first changes you'll see when you stop consuming sugar for just two weeks. And this is something I challenge you to do for a better life. Now, the first place you'll notice that it impacts is your skin. And this is because too much sugar can start affecting your skin's potential to repair collagen. And collagen is an abundant protein that strengthens the skin and ensures its good elasticity and hydration. And as sugar hinders the repair of the skin's collagen, you may notice less elasticity and premature aging due to the wrinkles. But when you cut down on the sugar, it can prevent your skin from sagging and also prevent that premature aging that we all wanna avoid. I always say, if you wanna look like the oldest person in the room, then just keep eating lots of sugar. But if you don't, then make this change because cutting out sugar will also help clear up acne and improve your gut health. And when you start cutting out the sugar, your microbiome is forced to change. And as you improve this gut bacteria, it stabilizes your gut health and it is manifested through healthier looking skin. Now, another area we're gonna see a huge change in is your heart health, and this is important because excessive added sugar can be one of the greatest threats to our cardiovascular health. As the risk of cardiovascular related events like heart disease and stroke remain at the top cause of death in industrialized countries, you should take serious note of this. Sugar can damage the cardiovascular system by feeding uncontrolled inflammation, free radicals, and also by impairing your metabolic function, and lastly, raising insulin. Cutting out sugar can also lower your cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the body and decrease your risk of heart attack. And when heart attacks are at the top of the list of killing you prematurely, you have to take it seriously. Now, every choice that you make in life has a paid price to action. And this is important because if you continue to overconsume sugar, it will riddle your body with disease. And cutting out sugar is going to cause some physical and mental problems as well, and a small price to pay for the benefits you'll receive. You'll face a little bit of depression from it, anxiety, cognitive issues, sleep issues, cravings, and a little bit of headaches. And you may even feel physically pretty down in the dumps. But the good news is, is that it only lasts usually around like three days to a week, depending on your level of insulin sensitivity, okay? So once again, there's a problem either way. And I have people say to me all the time, well, I can't cut out sugar, it just makes me feel like garbage. Well, so does having cancer, so does having all these different diseases. So as I mentioned, everything in life has a paid price to action, but pay the price now by making that small change so you don't have to suffer greatly in the future. Now let's talk about how sugar is going to affect your energy. It, this is because being on a simple carbohydrate Sugar is digested and absorbed quickly into the bloodstream. Now, although it may give you a rush of energy at first, eventually it's gonna make you crash. And as it gets metabolized, you're going to find that your energy is gone. Now, if you're burning sugar for energy, it's short-lived energy and there's a lot of highs and there's a lot of lows, right? You get these huge bursts of energy and you, you sometimes can even get a little bit of anxious from it, but then as it goes away, you're just shot, okay? That's why you wanna burn fat for energy because it's a sustainable source of energy that just gets you through the entire day without crashes. And as you cut out sugar, you need to be prepared for the cravings that are gonna come with this because they will certainly come. And so what you wanna do is make sure that you have something that will help get you through those cravings. And this is when we always talk about lateral shifts, all right? So when you're craving that sugar, go ahead and maybe have a piece of chocolate that's sweetened with stevia, something to take the edge off, okay? Be prepared for the cravings because when they hit, you don't wanna be running back to the sugar jar. Now, we also wanna talk about your kidneys, okay? Because reducing sugar and carbohydrates can improve your kidneys in a great way. One of the first organs that's impacted when you get diabetes is your kidneys. And this is because the poorly controlled diabetes causes damage to the blood vessels in your kidneys that filter the waste from your blood. Now, this can lead to kidney damage that causes high blood pressure and also 
damage to the kidney's filtering system, because we talked about how it's filtering the blood, it will actually damage that filtering system, which will then basically be this big negative feedback cycle that causes further kidney damage. So we want to avoid that. And when we talk about cutting out sugar and we talk about creating those lateral shifts and making sure that we are prepared for the cravings that come, what we want to do is remember that there are sugar alternatives out there, right? We're thinking stevia, monk fruit, erythritol, xylitol, allulose. We want to make sure that we have those alternatives available to help us get through those cravings. And one of the things that actually is a really good strategy, if you're somebody who's eating a lot of processed sugar, a good strategy is to switch to natural sugars, okay? And the reason that the natural sugars are really good to switch to is because it's better than, and it also, when you switch to natural sugars like eating fruit or having a little bit of honey, there's actually health benefits attached to it. It's not just an empty calorie garbage sweetener, right? It actually can offer your body back something. So here's what we have to do is we have to, before potentially going sugar-free, is start switching to the natural sugars in order to take the edge off and then consider going sugar-free. Now, let's talk about weight loss for a minute because weight loss is gonna be something that you'll notice in a big way once you cut out sugar. First, you're gonna notice a huge loss in water weight, but because you're cutting out sugar, you drive down the fat storage hormone insulin, which then opens up the possibility for you to burn fat for energy. Now, sugar has many empty calories, which doesn't nourish your body. And eating sugar essentially is going to cause you to eat more calories because you're craving the food and the proper nutrition that you lack. So if you're eating sugar, you know the obvious change that needs to be made today. I'm Dr. Zorowski, and if you like this video here, I think you'll really like this video next.